I think in one of the biggest ways I try to mimic or rather imitate uh, Shanae's style is just through the usage of color. Um, as you can see, like I made like the colors really vibrant. So in that sequence with all the kids, there was the red shirt, the blue shirt, the green dress, and then the yellow balloon. And then on top of that, it was against the very green background. I, I did all of them. And then I saturated that uh, part even more to contrast with this scene, which this is supposed to be her real life, but it's more blue, so you get the gloomy sense. And even the light piano uh, tune in the background, like I just, I just always really like the piano feeling to it. And since it's just like a single piano sound, it, you kind of get the feeling of loneliness um, in parallel with her actual loneliness. Um, the bird was also like picked, and I, originally I had a rabbit, but then um, the bird was just, it, visually it looked better because it also had the very bright colors. Um, I also did the sound, like the ring around Rosie, that was from the beginning. And it, so it's like as if the sound is coming from. And I also did the at least I attempted to do the close-ups of her face because I noticed that Junae likes to use a lot of close-ups to uh, characterize. And uh, one of the things I did a lot in this film was just to do negative space and that's kind of like a play on with the title as well. And here's another example of like a close-up of her face. I also used a macro lens for a lot of this uh, a lot of the shots, even a lot of some of the wide shots, um, I just made sure to stand really far back. This transition was always one that kind of bothered me a lot because I'm not really sure it was conveyed. Uh, but I tried, I think I tried to do the best that I could with what I had, which is uh, make the transition from a really blue world into a very saturated and just like a uh, red and green feeling fairy tale kind of world. And also the transition of music. Um, before it was a light piano kind of feeling and even I, I'm pretty sure actually when she was walking through the mall there was no sound at all and then all of a sudden you get this um, like a chime kind of feel and it makes it seem really uh, very hello and then I repeat the, the the chime sparkling sound to kind of emphasize whenever she changes from like a location to another location and I really like the shot of her standing in front of the stairs because it's like this really pretty kind of atmosphere and then it's her in her red dress, uh, red, sorry, green dress with the red jacket and I think that really just, it kind of also emphasizes her loneliness. And then again I did an, another like negative space where she peers around the corner. Um, I think acting was I really liked this part because I, I liked how she, it was actually by accident that she hesitated, but I really liked that. I actually didn't think it through when I was filming this scene, and so you can actually see the green in the picture frame. But here, likewise, I just, um, in my editing, I guess, I made sure to really make her clothes stand out. And here is where there's like complete silence, and then you suddenly hear that the sound of the children laughing, which is the silence kind of just emphasizes it more. And when she's looking into, yeah, here, when she's looking into the closet, the, the editing sequence, like the, I think the style of it, um, I think my inspiration from that came from uh, this, it's a really brief sequence in Amelie, but it was just a fast series of cuts. Um, and they kind of foreshadow, it was, I think, um, it was like, oh, and then Amelie's life suddenly changed, and then they cut a bunch of clips of Diana's death. And, uh, here, likewise, I just made sure the colors, like, they were, the children are out of focus, but you still see these little colored blobs uh, running around. And each child is, like, wearing a different color. Oh, the scene with the picture frame was, uh, I guess I wasn't too sure about it because it's kind of ambiguous and when I show other people they always say that they don't really understand like, what it means. But I think, I think my purpose of putting it in here is that it kind of emphasizes the fact that they're all the mother and child are from each other. Um, this last shot with the kids running around is also, I made sure to make it really colorful 
Um, I purposely had the girl, uh, Marsha, I purposely had her just drop the yellow balloon so I could try to jam as much color as I could into the frame.